done, setting the alarm, and we'll get into bed. It's time to wake up. <laughs> so, today was not my day. Obviously, it's 9 a.m. and I'm just now waking up. Cause I've been awake for the past hour. Everyone's doing their chores and getting their stuff done. The kids wake up at freaking like 7.30 and I'm over here like. So obviously tomorrow we're gonna need to do some things differently and go to bed earlier because waking up at 8, 9 a.m. is not the thing, not the deal anymore. So I'm gonna go and start doing some studying. I have MTC in the next hour, so I gotta get that done. But I'll try and deny, I'll see you guys later. cool thing on Instagram. I don't really know what it's helpful for, but I'm gonna try it anyways. You basically get an ice cold bowl of water and you stick your face in it for like a minute or something. Something like that. I don't really remember, but maybe I'll do some research on it, but I want to try it just because um, cold water has a lot of like benefits, so we're gonna go do that. Okay, we got the bowl. Pray for my soul. Just a disclaimer, I'm not like a professional here or anything. I've seen this around and I just wanted to also soak my face in water to moisturize it and stuff because it's so dry because of where we live. Here goes nothing. Oh boy, it's freaking cold. <laughs> I've only put my nose in my mouth. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, is that freezing cold? Oh dang it, I was supposed to get my hair wet. One second. Okay, so today's video is very different. Kind of funny that I'm starting it right now because this is not a great start to this, but I am home now and I really need to reset my schedule. I came home and it was great for the first week I was home because I was going to bed at like 10.30, waking up at 6.30 in the morning, so it was fantastic. And now, now that like the time difference has like changed, like it's set into me, you know? I go to bed at like 1 a.m. And then I'm tired all day. Like today, I, I took a nap for two hours. Not not a good idea. So I figured I'd do a week-long video where I am going to basically reset my schedule. So it's currently 10.30. My goal is to be, I think today we're going to start it out with like being in bed and going to sleep by 11. And then by the end of the week, I want to work it down to 10.30 because I need my curfew to be 10.30. And then I'm going to wake up at 6.30 in the morning, get some scripture study done and just get my day started, you know? At night, I tend to write a lot of my feelings, my thoughts, because throughout the day, I'm thinking a lot. And then I have my journal, which I put over there. I actually just finished it, but... I usually write down all my different goals, like just all those different like thoughts and feelings that come to mind, you know? So I'm just finishing with that and I am, and yes, I'm playing with my hair, it's a bad habit of mine. So I'm just finishing that up, winding down, and then I'll head to bed. I'm obviously doing a little bit of work, so I'm just about finished with that. And then I'll be waking up at 6.30. I've like set myself an alarm for 7 a.m. or 7.30 a.m. for the past like two weeks and I've never made it. Like, I'll turn it off and I'll be like, I'm too tired, I'm going back to bed. So tomorrow, since I'm filming, maybe it'll help me. I am going to wake up at 6.30. We're going to do our scripture study. I'm going to open the blinds because then the sun will be shining and it'll help me wake up. I'm going to head to bed right now. And then we are going to see you in the morning. Okay, 7 a.m. I do a little bit of journal writing. Do some scripture study. Yeah. I made it so that my phone only turns on like all my apps at 8.30 so I can have like an hour. Cause I read a lot of places that like having like an hour of time in the morning, it just helps you basically. So taking this hour, you get a study done. <laughs> oh my gosh, seriously, y'all. <laughs> And try to sleep so badly. Okay, I gotta do this. I gotta stay awake. It is now 9 30 and I went to sleep. 
I was like, oh, I'll just rest my eyes for a minute. Oh my gosh, why won't I stay awake? I took like a nap. But it was really nice to not be on my phone. And like I set myself a downtime and only certain apps were open, like not even messages were open. So yeah, that was really nice, but we're gonna try again tonight to go to bed earlier. I did wake up and I did study. So at least that's good. I'll see you guys tonight. Wish me luck. It's night time again. All of Raquel's and Shay's friends just left, so I went and showered. I went and like swam in the pool with everyone. And oh my gosh, my hair felt so good. Usually after like when I first get into the pool and get my hair wet, it feels so terrible, but it felt so good today. And then like by the end of the pool, it was like feeling super gross and like stringy. So I went and showered, I went and really, really moisturized it. And now I'm getting ready for bed. I'm gonna actually try and go to bed at midnight tonight. Okay, is it just me? I feel like I'm so obsessed with like my night routine and like my skin and body routine because it just makes me feel so happy and like on top of everything when I do it. I've been studying, I'm getting a little bit better. I have all these papers today. I sat on the FaceTime with my friend who actually went to my same mission and we he just helped me like translate and write out all of these words. So it was muy helpful. Um, I wonder what helpful is actually. I'm gonna write that down. Also, anybody out in Brazil, please can you let me know what, like, any just tips or anything I should know, any advice about living in Bega or Belo Horizonte? Belo Horizonte? Belo Horizonte? People say it differently. Anyways. Belo Horizonte. I'm gonna get ready for bed a little bit more and I will see you guys in a bit. Gotta get the water, gotta hydrate. <coughs> I I usually like looking at Pinterest and I like looking at like self-care stuff. I heard this concept from a friend of mine and it's like made the biggest difference for me. They said like if you're wanting to fill other people's cups, so like if you're wanting to help other people, you have to help yourself first because you can't give other people water unless you have water and then you have to refill your water so you can give people more water. So, not literal water. So that's why on my wonderful Pinterest board. Well, that's like, oh. I have a ton of self-care stuff that I've just written down, like books, blogs, and podcasts to listen to and see. Wifey material. This, this one's titled Wifey Material. Like, how to improve your life when you don't know where to start. He's a keeper if. 10 little ways to become a better wife. Just things that I like was scrolling and I saw that I liked. And then little inspirations, like coping thoughts, developing a growth mindset, meditation, journal entries, self-care, all the checklists and routines so I'm gonna scroll that for a little bit try and find some good ideas maybe for like the week and maybe we'll do some tomorrow morning I am gonna wake up on time tomorrow morning we're gonna go wake up at 7 and I'll see you guys tomorrow Shifting some footage really fast. We just finished filming a video, so I'm not getting to bed the time I wanted to, but I'm still hoping to get to bed before midnight, so we got a little bit of time. Oh, we're done. Let's go to bed now. I said that I would get to bed before midnight. It's currently 11.43 and we're heading into bed. I'm done setting the alarm and we're getting to bed. And I need to wake up early because I have tutoring tomorrow and I didn't practice it all today. I'm sorry, tutor. Um, he's great and patient. I completely forgot what I was supposed to do today though like for practicing. Anyways, uh, we're getting a little bit better. We're getting a little closer. Um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's time to wake up. <laughs> I know they always say to not like read or do your schoolwork in bed, but I just love doing my scripture study in bed. It's my favorite. First up, we're gonna do some Bible study. I'm gonna read more of this later, but 
I have to go get lunch ready, so. I'll see you guys later in the night for another round. We'll see if we can make it. Okay, you guys, obviously I'm really struggling. I feel like I have so many things I have to be doing and like at night I just get so busy. And yet in the daytime, I literally like laid in bed all day today. So I think I need to start changing that up and prioritizing all these things I'm doing at night so that I change it because I think it's not something I need to do. I'm not like in dire need of doing this at 11 p.m. It's just something that I have created as habit. And so if I can like do the dire things that I actually need to get done in the daytime when I have a lot of time, then I could be going to bed on time and actually waking up. Tomorrow I need to wake up and I want to read my scriptures. I want to study and I want to do that because the clock is ticking and I really need to get into a better habit. I just finished filming a video actually and I am now reading this book which I actually really really like and I have been trying to get into reading for the longest time. I swear, I, I kid you not, I don't remember the last time I actually read a book. But the funny thing is I only like to read non-fiction books. I don't write, like reading the fairy tale books, I don't know, I just like to read motivational books, business books, psychology books, any of those kinds of things. I just feel like reading is sometimes a waste of time if it's just like a story for me personally. Now my siblings, I love that they read. Evie has a much higher reading level than me and I'm in college, but I'm actually getting to this one. And then I also have another one by um, a world renowned psychologist that we actually know in our ward. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> it's 11:19, So maybe I'll read until 11:30. just read a tiny bit and just get myself hooked on books, you know? And then I will head to bed. I pinky swear this time and I will wake up because then I could read in the morning. <sighs> I think, okay, I don't wake up and I don't stay awake because none of my siblings are awake. So I'm like, oh, what, they don't get have to, they don't have to be awake? Well, I don't technically have to be awake, so I'm going back to bed. Tomorrow's gonna be different though. We're changing this habit. This is actually a bad habit now. And I will see you guys in the morning. Wish me luck. All right, you guys, I woke up at 7 a.m. and I kind of just laid in bed for a while. And then at 8 a.m. I actually woke up and I got ready. We definitely did not go to bed on time. This <laughs> video is not working very well. But I'm still trying. We're still getting there. I was up and ready to leave for church, but yeah. So tomorrow, tonight, we're going to bed way earlier. I feel like every morning I'm always like, oh, like I'm going to bed so much earlier tonight because I'm so tired right now. And then by the nighttime, I'm like, I'm so awake. Not working. And just like that, it is bedtime already. Evie's gonna sleep with me tonight, apparently. So I gotta actually go to bed on time because she needs to be in bed. So she's happy tomorrow. So I think right now it's only 10 p.m. So I've got some time. Gonna do a little bit of my journal writing and all that kind of stuff right now, so. do some journal writing, brush my teeth, and hopefully we'll be asleep, you can't even see it, asleep, and ready to go to bed by 10.45, because she 